With Halo 4 around the corner, it begs the question what's going to happen to the MCC after Halo 4's release? Well, in this video, we're going to give you all the information we currently have, so stay tuned to understand all the information. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like this news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. It helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. As stated at the top of this video, Halo 4 is right around the corner with likely a release happening in November. The flighting process is currently in Ring 1 and 2, with Ring 3 public flighting most likely happening towards the second half of October. And with there likely being a November release, it does doesn't really leave a whole lot of extra time for any other things happening with MCC after Halo 4. Especially with the work environment of everyone at Microsoft working from home and also a lot of people during the month of December take that entire month off, I wouldn't expect a whole lot of things happening in the month of December besides minor updates. So to me it begs the question, what's going to happen to the MCC after Halo 4? Are we still going to get new seasons? Are we going to get new content? Is there anything else happening with the game? Well in this video we're going to answer just that. We have features that are planned to come in 2020 that might slip till 2021, some additional content from possible Halo Online, features like console FOV sliders and more. So let's jump right into it. I want to start off with the most immediate stuff and then we'll kind of go on to what's probably going to happen later on in 2021. First off, we'll start with Season 4. That's coming with Halo 4 coming to PC. Uh, we do have some additional content coming in as well as we know there's more armor pieces for Halo Reach, some additional customization for Halo 3. But we don't know exactly, but I think we just got a hint on Reddit exactly what we might be seeing for Halo 3. There's a thread posted on Reddit for the subreddit for Halos of a Patrick meme that's kind of been going around and it says, why don't we just take this skin and move it over here? Which obviously is something I think we'd all want to see. There was a lot more content when it comes to customization we'd want to see with Halo 3. And I think we're going to get just that. Because Farns, a member of the MCC team, publishing team for 343, just replied back with a winking smiley face. Now that I think this was kind of expected to have happen, uh, just because we do know that there was a lot more things that the community has been wanting with Halo 3's customization. And it looks like we'll be getting just that. More camos, unique camos, or just copy and pasting the same camos over to the other weapons as well. We don't know exactly until we'll see it. Once I get into the Halo 4 flighting, I'll guarantee I'll show you guys what's going to be in Season 4. Make sure you subscribe to catch yourself when that video goes live. Now we do have some features coming along with Halo 4's flighting that are most likely going to be added in. We have Crossplay, input-based matchmaking, and server region selection. I've gone over these in depth multiple times, so just literally just check out the Halo News playlist video I have, guys. You'll find it really easy, or just find the link in the description down below if you want to find more about those content. But there's a statement here in the previous blog update that I really think it's important to know, guys, when it comes to what's going to be happening to the MCC post Halo 4. They did here saying we're likely in a scenario now that some of the features outlined below will slip into 2021 if they do not meet our quality and functionality expectations. We are going to continue to work our hardest to get as much of this in your hands as soon as we can, and we will likely throw in a few surprises as well. One of the surprises possibly being the redacted mentioning of customization when it comes to this game. I think what they're mainly trying to say is the promised 2020 features that we had earlier, I think some of those might slip into 2021. Those 2020 features being crossplay, input-based matchmaking, server region selection, custom game browser, per game graphics option, Options, per game audio options, mouse and keyboard support for Xbox, PC file share, double keybinds for all games, view model adjustments for all games, in-game FPS cap and adjustments, Steam account linking as well. Now these some of these features have to be packaged together so things like crossplay, input-based matchmaking, and server region selection are coming in with the Halo 4 flighting process. The next package is going to be custom game browser, per game graphics options, mouse and keyboard support on the Xbox. Now the development cycle is kind of ever-changing. I'm sure that we'll see some other additional things thrown in there as well. Like I said mentioned earlier that they did mention about how the, some features might slip to 2021. I'm guessing it most likely to be like the custom game browser or game options and things like that. Though some feature changes like UI changes and also view model adjustments and double keybinds are being worked on by Saber Interactive, a partner company. You might see those kind of sneak in right before 2021. Now remember at the top of this video I mentioned some extra content and customization coming in as well as possibly some Halo Online content as well. In the dev blog update they do mention this specifically. I'm gonna read this specifically so that you guys understand what we're talking about here. We're looking into all new game modes and modding. How we can start to stand 
add up those pieces and deliver a solid experience. Like I said earlier, how can we expand customization, not just in game, but in the front end and how we can give people more value in customization all up. Those are areas we're evaluating. We're also looking into campaign customization. What can we support there? Things like snazzier nameplates, can we put animations on them? Is there an opportunity to bring over some of the Halo Online maps? There's a lot of options out there. It's all dependent on what's feasible and everything takes time and has to be measured against the bug list, backlog, feature priorities. All in all, we're definitely looking forward to more goodness and continuing with more seasons. So it does seem like 343 is putting a big emphasis on character customization, which I think is actually gonna be a really big feature with Halo Infinite. So maybe trying to maybe bring in some features that we're seeing in that game, maybe over to here, I don't know. Well, things like campaign customization sounds really freaking awesome. Snazzier nameplates like animations and things like that. I think it'd be a really cool feature to add in. Also, Halo Online maps, that would be pretty insane. I don't know if they would have to tinkering with those maps at all because they were built basically on the Halo 3 engine but it seems like they might fit better with Halo 4's gameplay because they have sprint and things like that so it would be really cool to see those maps being brought over as well as it's just content just laying around not really being utilized like I did mention about the bug list backlog and feature priorities as well talking about backlog and feature priorities for the in design iteration these are segments that 343 is actively working on right now they're kind of just drawing out the blueprints to see what how they're going to implement these into the game it's not actively in development but they're working on it things like additional mod support variable frame rate improvements for reach and halo 2 anniversary bring pc features to console like fov sliders and additional accessibility support audio support for the mcc will be be absolutely massive it will be the driving force that will keep the community active on this game for many years to come i mean people were excited about cursed halo for a combat evolved mod when that game came out went back in 2003 and people are still playing it that's one of the great things about this game variable frame rates i do mention about how if they can fix it with halo 4 they can probably bring that over to reach and h2a but it's kind of up in the air if they can do that obviously i know a lot of people I see in the comment section, I see you guys, I see you talking about the FOV Slayer and they are working on it. They said they're looking to bring that into development soon, but it looks like it might be something that might be slipping into 2021. Of course, additional accessibility support to just make it easier for people who need those kind of features and things in backlog further discussion as in it's kind of not really been worked on right now, but they know that people want it like idle system improvements, split screen on PC and HDR support on PC as well. And just on top of all of this, we'll be getting more seasons with the MCC. It's not going to be just done with season four and the call and the quests. They're going to be trying to improve on the customization, giving players more options of things they can do with the game. We'll probably see seasons keeping being added to the MCC even after Infinite's release. 343 did confirm this on their recent live stream, saying that they will continue more seasonal support after the release of Halo 4. But once Halo 4 is released, it's not going to be an LOL dead game. If anything, it's going to continue to thrive and be a very active part Part of the Halo community, which is um, crazy to hear about MCC being active in 2021 when it released back in 2014 in such a terrible mess. Well, let me know in the comment section, what are you most excited about all this information coming for you guys? Halo Online Maps sounds pretty sweet to me, so I definitely would make videos on that if it ever comes around. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or missing any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.